It was always my dream. And when I look back as 12 years old, I was like, wow. So this is me. So I started golf when I was four because of my brother. Uh, he's five years older than I am. I got this like really big bag, but I was like eight, right? So the tour bag was bigger than I was. And so I just remember people like laughing at me because it was me and then the tour bag. <laughs> I do actually remember hitting my first golf ball and I do remember the ball flight and everything. So I guess it was something very, just very special for me. Every time I went to the golf course or the ranch, I just wanted to be good. This is like my first medal. I actually remember that day because I remember going to a restaurant with my parents and like literally celebrating and having this like huge ice cream. It was just a very special day for me. This is me at the Junior Solheim Cup. I played Junior Ryder Cup and Solheim Cup. This one was in America, but the Junior Ryder Cup was in Scotland. I remember everything, that team spirit, and I just wanted to beat everybody, right? And just the whole experience, and also signing uh, like golf balls and hats to like younger kids than we were actually were. That was pretty wild experience. Me at Evian Masters, I was 12 years old. I loved every single second about this week. And I remember watching Morgan Pressel, Michelle Wee, Julieta Granada, and I remember sitting on the first tee and just enjoying every single minute. So he got me this cover uh, for my driver. And then as soon as I got home, I put in my driver and it was like, I was telling everybody, it's like, I'm gonna be playing Evian Masters. And they were like laughing at me, right? And I was like, well, you wait <laughs> and see. It was, uh, amazing when I um, played there for the first time. I remember like getting there almost like crying because it was always my dream and when I look back as 12 years old I was like wow like this is really special what I have done. Still making me like emotional. I feel like still emotional about it you know. So that's me playing the British Open for the first time which was uh, St. Andrews. I remember I qualified for that uh, tournament just the week before. I was extremely excited like to play my first British Open at St. Andrews. I missed the cut, but it wasn't about that. It was more about getting into tournament and get, getting that experience. It was great. That's my first win in uh, Morocco, 2017. Played really solid that week and I had a really good final round. Susan Peterson, she was playing really good that day and she had to actually make like a four meter putt to tie and go in the playoff, but she left it short. When I won for the first time, I, I knew how special it was because it's not easy to win out there. Even when you're playing good and you're solid, it's just not easy to make this that last step. That's my first Olympic games in Rio. I never really dreamed to be in the Olympics as a kid, right? Because it just wasn't an Olympic sport. And I don't even remember that week. It was so surreal for me. And then my second Olympics in Tokyo, everything was just a little bit more real. And I had the experience from, from Rio, which was great for me because there are so many things that are different that week, you know, because you're staying in the village with other athletes. You kind of become like a one family, you know, and everybody support each other. I can't wait to play in uh, Paris Telco next year. It was just really great for me to win in Ireland because I just got back on LEC tour after being in the US on LPGA tour for four years. When I got back, I felt just really good. My game was in really good shape. Also, my husband was on the back. I mean, <laughs> he was my fan set back then. So then we got married. Yeah, which was also a dream come true, just to marry somebody who you love and who you want to spend the whole life. Yeah, we've been together for four years and we're just happy. And I'm really happy that he got to travel with me this year a little bit too. So really fortunate. <laughs>